Hi, how are you? My name is Tim Ko, and uh, today I will talk about some of the basic concepts for channel traffic engineering. So start off by looking at some of the definition. What are the definitions like channel traffic uh, intensity and the traffic volume? Okay. So the, then followed by the uh, quality of service and the grade of service, which is the prerequisite or the requirements for traffic engineering. So let's look at those slides. Okay, those are the set of slides we have. And uh, we look at, first of all, definitions and then concept of channel traffic engineering, and then the grade of service and the quality of service. Those are the basic concepts. So Let's look at the definitions. Definition in this case, we want to know the traffic intensity, the uh, busy hour, holding time, and offer traffic. So the traffic intensity basically is the average number of busy server during a specific duration. A unit for that is could be Erlang, named after the pioneer on traffic engineering, which is AK Erlang. Offer traffic, traffic which would be carry if the number of servers, servers were unlimited or infinite. Now for the case of limited server, offer traffic is not Yuki, is much bigger than the carry traffic. Carry traffic is smaller because a portion of that offer traffic will be lost. And that is one of the criteria, one of the parameters for looking at the, um, the quality of service or the grade of service, that is the uh, congestion rate, congestion probability, or the lo uh, loss probability. And the busy hour, the hour day, which the highest traffic intensities. And the holding time is the average service duration. So let's look at the concepts, basic concepts. First of all, we look at the traffic volume, which is the number of call and um, multiply by the service time. Now, uh, example of this, for example, I have 25 call coming in in 30 minutes and each of the call, we can lock it, and the average time is spent on uh, talking or sending things is three minutes long. So the traffic volume in this case, seven, five minutes. Okay. Now in the case of next concept, the traffic intensity is the traffic volume, as I mentioned before, divided by the observation period. The example I have mentioned is observation minutes period is 30 minutes, so, okay. So the traffic volume is 75 minutes, which is 25 call time, the number average service time for each call. Okay, so divide by observation period, and that is 2.5 early. Now that is the same as the average, as the number of busy server. Okay, it's 2.5 circuit are busy during that period, okay? And the traffic volumes can then be using, look at that, is the, the traffic volume is the traffic intensity multiplied by observation periods. So the traffic intensity, we have a, a, a shorthand a, a, a acronym, uh, which is A multiplied by T. Now, if we have the traffic volume of this and this to be equated, and you have this idea about traffic intensity equal to number of call over the, the observation period. So in this case, uh, we can replace it by lambda arrival rate, number of call per unit time. Okay, so uh, uh, average the arrival rate multiplied by the uh, duration, service duration, is the traffic intensity. Now the channel traffic volumes and the uh, intensity is changing as in 
instantaneously. Well, depending on number of core coming in and number of core leaving. So they are changing continuously. And that could be due to an hourly change. Example of that could be uh, uh, um, during the workday, the office hour. Okay, so that could be a more traffic, more voice traffic, or maybe more uh, business data during those times. And in, in the evening, then you might have a streaming video, and you might have the uh, 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 web browsing in the evening. Okay, so whether there is uh, which time of the day is busy and they're changing co uh, constantly. And daily in the sense of uh, Monday to Friday, workday and weekend, okay? Seasonal, winter, summer, and uh, depending on location where you have the, uh, you, in the uh, summertime, you have the, uh, the uh, resort area could be more busy compared with the, uh, Winter time in the city, okay, and then over a long duration. I mean, that could be annual change. Annual change could be something like uh, during uh, economic growth, the traffic volume could increase. During a recession, traffic volume de could decrease. Now, there are two major traffic characteristics for voice network. Those are the arrival voice call, distribution of arrival voice call distribution of the service time. Those are the voice call. The same for data networks. The distribution arrival of data message and the distributions of those message length. Okay, so with that, we can move to the next one. We can look at the next uh, slide which talk about the quality of service in terms of the circuit switch network which is a network which dedicates certain capacity from the sender to the receiver and we regard that as a loss system and the old style uh, landline telephone network belong to this class of uh, uh, networks. In voice service the uh, quality server comprises all the requirements on all aspects of the connection. Example of this is how the, uh, how the uh, uh, core is being connected and how long does it take, the service response time, and the loss, whether you, you could have call which is being made and not accepted, so that we that we will look at in terms of the what we call quality gray uh, gray of service, which I will discuss later, and the signal to noise ratio, which affects the uh, quality of the voice call, cross talk, which is uh, interfering between different circuits, echoes, which is due to the uh, where you can listen to yourself after certain delay and that, inter that interfere with the voice quality. Interruption of the call, that happens. Uh, more, more likely in the case of packetized data or packetized voice service, where certain packets have been lost. Frequency response, which is due to uh, the circuit quality and you have a certain cutoff at certain frequency. And so the voice, my voice, may not become exactly the same as normally I speak. The level of the loudness, whether the, uh, it's too soft or too loud. Okay, so those are the quality of service required uh, for the loss network. So those are the topics for quality of service for a loss uh, systems. And a subset of this is the gray or service, which we look at in terms for traffic engineering, is the uh, related to the capacity and the coverage of network. The example of the uh, 
parameter for gray observers could be congestion probability or blocking probability. Okay. In the case of uh, mobile network where you move from one cell to the next cell, and that is the drop-off probability. So those are the gray observers we will look at. Uh, so the next slide is talk about the gray observers for loss system. Okay, we look at loss system and delay system. In the case of loss system, the time congestion, E, is defines proportional or fractional time when all servers are busy. So normally the management will be happy, we would like to see that how often my network is busy, okay? And core congestion is the portion, uh, fraction of the core which will be encounter all servers are busy. For example, so the servers will be declined. So example, if I make a call, how often? If I make 100 call, how often do I get uh, a, a denial of service? Okay, due to insufficient number of server available. Okay, so that is more or, le more or less looking at from the user point of view. And the call, and the last one is the traffic congestion. Now, that is portion of the offer traffic that is not carried. Now, with uh, pure chance traffic or post on arrivals, those three quantity E, B, and C is equal. When are they not equal? When, where, when the number of uh, subscriber is small compared to the number of server, and that E is not equal to B. Now that I will talk about later in uh, insect law system. What about traffic congestion? And how would they, uh, when would the traffic congestion will be different from uh, time congestion? And that is when the um, capacity requirement for the call are different. Example of this is voice call, video call. Now, when video call normally require higher capacities, so it's more likely that the video call will be declined because you're in the sufficient capacity which necessary to carry the video call. So C may not equal the E when there is different requirements for the call uh, capacities, okay? So the next thing we look at is the delay system, the example delay system is well known internet. Uh, in this case, the packet loss probability, okay, that could be due to many things, uh, due to physical layer or due to the, uh, uh, when packets are corrupted during transmission and receptions or due to um, congestion control of, it, of TCP, which is internet level. And the average delay, Okay, and the, uh, the, the, the value of the average delay and the, a percentage of packet or message which is delayed more than a specific time. Now, uh, if, if the particular application require uh, the packets to be, ex uh, to be sent to this, uh, the receiver uh, no more than certain time when that volume of packet which is longer than the requirements, then the packet will be dropped. Okay. Now, of course, there are other things too, which is the jitter, the change of delay, the variation delay between packets. Okay. So that is also an important concept here. Now, in terms of the final consideration for uh, the decision on the grade of service or quality of service is the customer expectation. Uh, that would depend on how much the customer are willing to pay and the cost of uh, improving the networks, buying more equipment. And the, what happens when you lose a customer, how much money you lost, revenue you lose, and that's in favor of the larger customers customer were willing to pay more. And when you buy something, when you design it, well, you design not immediately, 
because it takes time to buy those equipment. So you design in a certain time in the future. And those traffic for in the future require to be forecast. So, well, I was, for example, I will design network 12 months from now. And what happened in 12 months time, the, uh, the traffic volume will not be the same, either more or less. And when that inaccuracy is taken into account on those forecasts, then this is the safety margin you need to look at. When you also design networks, you can have um, what we call unforeseen overloads. Um, you design a network for a normal time, or you design a network for um, a, 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 something which is unnormal or not average. Example of that is Christmas time. In the Christmas time, the traffic volume normally increase. Okay, so in that case, are we designed for that one day out of 365 days? So you have to invest more, okay, to cater for those uh, particular days traffic. Now, if you not design for the unforeseen overload, you design for average time, then you could expect higher losses due to those particular busy time like Christmas day. Okay, that is the end of this talk, this short talk on teletraffic, uh, teletraffic uh, 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 concepts, okay, so thank you.